Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about methods of teaching which comes under nursing education or communication and education technology. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students, MSc nursing students as well as students who are studying B.Ed. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech Channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the content what we are going to discuss in this uh, video. There are so many methods of teaching are there. So we are going to discuss only seminar in this video. The remaining methods will be discussed in my forthcoming videos. So what is a seminar? So a seminar is nothing but a meeting for discussion or training. A meeting for discussion or training. Group of students meet together to discuss topic with the teacher. Group of supervised students doing research or advanced study. So this is a meaning for seminar. So a meeting for discussion or training by the students as well as by the teacher or you can supervise the student when uh, he is doing his research or any advanced study or teaching. So the definition of seminar, seminar is a group of members who come together to exchange views of current problems of to share with others their own experiences, experiments, discoveries, etc. So here we, uh, we are mingling with a group and you are uh, gathering in a group and you are exchanging your ideas, your viewpoints through, uh, that comes out of your own experiences. Uh, experiments or discoveries etc so seminar is a group of members who come together to exchange views of current problem of to share with others of their own experience experiments and discoveries etc so there are so many objectives of seminar so we will see the a few opportunity to participate in methods of scientific analysis and research procedures so you can uh, participate in various uh, scientific analysis and for better understanding about a particular topic it helps a student to develop skills in teaching as well as in presentation as well as in comprehension it enables students to gain experience in self evaluation as well as evaluation by others so by taking a seminar you can evaluate yourself and when a teacher or others are supervising they will also give the their evaluation so objectives are opportunity to participate in methods of scientific analysis and research procedure to promote deeper understanding helps students to develop skills in reading as well as in comprehension and it enables students to gain experience in self-evaluation and evaluation of others next we will see steps involved in presentation of seminar so there are five steps which are involved in uh, presentation of seminar first is you have to prepare for a seminar topic that is participant preparation so you you are going to take a seminar means you have to be first prepare yourself and preparation of content so your topic has been given no so you have to search about that particular topic in books uh, net uh, internet uh, journals etc then an environment for presentation so where which classroom you are going to take or in auditorium or in seminar hall so wherever you are going to uh, take the seminar so you have to prepare the environment for pre presentation then uh, after preparation suppose if you want to arrange uh, for any overhead projector or a uh, lcd projector um, for powerpoint presentation whatever it may be and you have to arrange avas everything so the environment and for the how students you have to arrange uh, chairs everything so suppose if you are want to give any refreshments also that also can be arranged next is presentation of seminar you are presenting the seminar and finally you are evaluating evaluation and grading of seminar either by the teacher or um, self evaluation mostly it will be done by a uh, teacher or other uh, peer group they will tell their evaluation and the grading will be given by the teacher moving on to seminar format for discussing about disease condition the contents are introduction definition related anatomy and physiology etiology and risk factors incidence and occurrence pathophysiology diagnostic evaluation clinical manifestation management complications summary and bibliography so this is a sample format for a disease condition what in what are all the topics you will be preparing introduction definition related anatomy and physiology etiology and risk factors incidence and occurrence pathophysiology diagnostic evaluation clinical manifestation management complications summary and bibliography So next moving on to the 
criteria for a good seminar a seminar group should be uh, limited to 10 to 15 students with maximum of 25 students so there can be up to 25 students is the maximum limit for a uh, seminar for a perfect seminar duration of meeting should be one to two hours or not it should not exit more than two hours and leader of a discussion is the teacher who is presenting the seminar is going to be the teacher suppose if the student is going to present the seminar she is going to be the student teacher then a student also function as chairman then effective use of seminar method requires a background of knowledge so if you want to present about a topic you should have a good idea about the um, topic then members must be come prepared with the material for presentation and discussion AVAs whatever is needed any slides for PowerPoint presentation charts flashcards whatever you are going to present as AVAs everything you have to come preparedly advantages seminar helps students to increase responsibilities so it helps the students to increase their responsibilities it helps to do thorough study on subject it helps to improve leadership qualities it is an effective method of problem solving it will help to improve your curriculum so here you can help students to increase their responsibilities by giving a topic so that they can prepare it and they will have a more responsible in preparing the topic effectively it helps to do thorough study on a particular subject so if you are going to give a seminar on a particular topic they have to be well versed in that particular topic so they will do deep study about that particular topic or subject it helps to improve the leadership qualities and the teaching skills also will be improved it is an effective method of problem solving and it also helps in improvement of curriculum next moving on to the disadvantages it is useful only for upper division students that is for lower class children and all you cannot give so only at degree level and all you can give a seminar it needs preliminary planning planning is very very important without planning and preparation you cannot present the seminar on the spot members must be prepared with material for presentation and discussion this already have discussed proper planning is needed to arrange for seminar so role of members in seminar what is the student's role what is the teacher's role so the student has to whenever a topic has been given they have to um, do library work that is they have to do uh, adequate reference uh, with the books uh, journals uh, net reference etc collect the relevant uh, content and the content should be clear and it should be well prepared that is systematically you should arrange for example definition incidents like that only should come so you should not tell pathophysiology first then definition at the last like that and all so in a sequence or systematic matter you should go off and and utilize the available audio visual aids that is very very important in presentation of a seminar they should be well prepared before presentation teacher so teacher has to give an appropriate topic to the student then uh, she has to guide the student when they are uh, selecting the content correction if at all any suggestion she has to suggest it uh, and wherever the content will be available everything she has to suggest available sources of information hope this video is clear full for all so seminar you can get in five marks question so this has given a brief uh, uh, introduction and uh, explanation about uh, seminar which is more than uh, enough for a five mark question if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and icon or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing research and statistics related videos as well as question paper related videos as well as uh, videos with uh, related to foundations of nursing and cet video already we have posted one video on um, audio visual aids also with regard to first year psychology also we have posted videos apart from this we are posting videos for uh, 10th plus 1 and plus 2 um, for the students residing in Tamil Nadu thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel